Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel and this is part two of my review of the Triple 20 Darts shoes. Now when I did the first part I said I was going to do uh, a week where I did various routines without any warm up, just straight into the routines without wearing the shoes and then a week where I was wearing the shoes and compare the difference. But I've been wearing them for a few weeks now anyway. Um, I just never got around to, to posting the review a bit sooner and what I had noticed is when I did the week where I was wearing the shoes the first week um, if you remember in the first part of the review I said it was put me in a slightly different position to what I was used to because my angle of my foot was kind of like that and that was making me go a little bit slightly different um, so instead of being like a kind of a, a toes pointing that way I had to put my foot more that way to the side uh, but not fully to the side of the leg which I said was what I used to do but it caused me pain in the knee so the the position that I was throwing them from seemed to be working better on the bull's eyes now i don't know why that would be but you'll see when i show you the results that i almost seem to be doing better on the bull's eyes straight away but i seem to do worse on the treble 20s now i think that's just down to the fact that it changed my position and i had to get used to it but as the week went on i got more used to it and you'll see the ones where i've thrown at the 20s it's improved so it's just a case of getting used to wearing them basically and if you've been watching any of my reviews over the last few weeks you will have noticed that when I do the challenges I've been getting better on them as well so if that is just solely down to the shoes then great but I can't 100% say that is the reason it might be just that I'm going through a, a, a better spell than normal but I'm um, tending to lean towards the fact that the shoes have helped simply because when I come up to the hockey it's just put me in the right spot each time and it's made it easier to find my foot position and therefore I've just been able to get a little bit more consistent with my positioning and I think that's just basically the idea behind the shoes so it definitely helps in that regard uh, the other thing is, like I mentioned about the problem that I have with my knees and my ankles, I, I sometimes get quite a lot of pain, but that doesn't seem to have been as, as bad since I've been wearing these. So I think maybe they've kind of helped a little bit in that regard as well. But that could be just because I've slightly changed position. I don't know. Uh, but I also have flat feet, which I mentioned before. So I thought the shoes might not be very comfortable for me. And like I say, I've been wearing them for a few weeks now and I actually do find them really comfy. So I am kind of surprised that I do like them as much as I do. And it kind of feels weird now when I haven't got the, <laughs> the shoes on. If I'm throw up with my slippers on or my trainers, it doesn't feel quite the same now. So I've, I've kind of got used to wearing the shoes and it's become almost like a, an item that I need to wear <laughs> when I'm throwing so whether that's just down to the fact it's a case of getting familiar with something and then you get used to it I can't really say but I do find the shoes comfortable and in terms of the wear um, they're still in almost new condition there's just some slight wear but I wasn't really expecting them to wear much just playing darts in here I'm not it's only uh, like a wooden floor so it's not going to get any real damage or anything there's just some slight crease in there on the toes but other than that they're in really good condition still so they're very well made but like I say they're not cheap and the, the main problem is the fact that it's not something you can just walk into a shop and try on so that is the problem for a lot of people but I'm kind of glad that I did get the opportunity to try them because, like I say, I do like wearing them. And I'm surprised that I am keen on them as much as I am. And like I say, when I haven't got them on, it kind of feels like I'm naked. <laughs> There's a thought for you. <laughs> Not a very nice one. <laughs> but what I'll do now is I'll show you uh, the 
results of the the two weeks but i'll also mention about what i've done on the reviews as well and then i'll finish off from here so this is the routine that i did each week and this is without the shoes at first from monday the 6th of march to sunday the 12th of march um so i did this without any warm-up just straight onto it each day and just recorded the results and i've put the the highest totals and the averages there on the bottom so this is the week where i was wearing the shoes from the wednesday the 15th of march to tuesday the 21st of march and as you can see i didn't start off good on the 100 at 20s but did improve but i started off pretty good on the ball straight away i think i also done a fair bit better on the doubles on this week i didn't do so good on the doubles the first week where that was just down to me not being right i don't know but we'll have a look at the results on the averages next And as I mentioned on the reviews, uh, I seem to be improving on the challenges. All these Loxley, Sorcerer, Winmore, Valhalla, Shop BDG, Lox Excalibur, Josie, Type 4, Unicorn Noir, they were all wearing the shoes. I think there's only one there, Mission O'Shea, that was without the shoes. But all the others seem to improve, so make of it what you will. Right, so there you go. That's what i've done for the couple of weeks that i was recording every day without any um warm up just straight into it and you can see from that the way my uh balls were pretty good from the off but my treble 20s were not so good but then they started to improve and also from the challenges that i've done in the uh, the reviews how i've improved a little bit over the few weeks but like I said, I can't 100% say it's down to the shoes, but I kind of suspect it certainly helped. But how much it will help, say, a seasoned player, I couldn't really say, because obviously uh, if you've already got to a high level and you, you're very good at finding your spot on the hockey and what have you, then you may not see a massive difference. But for people like me uh, who have slightly inconsistent stances due to various issues i think it's helped me so there you go that's all i can tell you about them it's up to you whether you want to try them i know they're not cheap but like i said they do seem well well made and very good quality overall and i do find them quite comfortable and i'm one of them people that is really awkward with the shoes you know i have to try quite a few on before i find something that's comfortable so there you go that's the end of the video hope you've enjoyed the update i'll see you on the next one happy darting